This towering treasure has looked over the heart of downtown Norfolk for 162 years. A major reason the Basilica of St. Mary of the Immaculate Conception still stands is because of the compassion of donors. Incredibly generous people. Um, and, you know, it, it, it was also um, very affirming the, the, the importance of this, this church to the city of Norfolk. Everybody seemed to, to care about it. it. It has stood in this spot since 1858. Another key historic note, this is the only African-American basilica in the country. Father Jim Curran calls himself, quote, a white pastor pastoring a black flock, something he tells CBN News is not an issue. Um, and they have accepted me and loved me and, and um, really formed me so in so many ways in my faith. Um, that's, the, that's the real beauty. Um, this, is, this is gorgeous too. Father Jim says what started six years ago as a leaky roof repair exposed greater problems. The entire structure was compromised due to rotted out support beams. It led to a restoration effort that's grown into an almost $7 million renovation project. The Lord saw it through and, and, and he gave us what we needed and enough so much that we could even uh, include the organ, which um, again was not part of our plan, but. Uh, we had it, we, so we, we decided to restore that beautiful organ that hasn't been played in decades. The majestic pipe organ is the original instrument, believed to have been built in 1858. Former organist Dr. Brandon Spence calls the organ an old friend and says it's a blessing to be able to play the pre-Civil War instrument. Not everyone has access to an instrument like this. Uh, with its history and the beautiful sound that it makes and uh, just so many things. I don't know that there's enough time for me to adequately describe what it's like to, to just be here again and to have played it in the past and still be associated with it. Spence sat down and played it late last year for the first time in more than 40 years. I was a kid when I was playing this before and uh, it's like getting reacquainted. It was actually like coming home. When I was here, I spent most of my time here I would come in early in the morning, late at night, after classes to practice here. So a tremendous amount of my life was spent not just in working on the instrument, but in being a musician, learning from all that this instrument had to teach me here. So it's like greeting a, a very dear friend, a cherished friend. Spence showed my crew and me the capabilities of the organ American and then introduced organ, me personally to his cherished friend. It's remarkable that an instrument of this age is intact and playable. The case that the organ sits in is 36 feet high and it has around 2,200 pipes. And to see the tears of the faces of, of parishioners when they heard it, they haven't heard it in decades. And, and they come into this beautiful church and they can hear the beautiful sound and it was just so complete. Um, I cannot imagine what it's gonna sound like when we have the full capability of that organ. It, it's just going to elevate um, all the way to heaven. It's just incredible. The restoration of the organ is 30% complete. To finish it, Father Jim says it will require another capital campaign to raise a million dollars with the goal of completing it in two to three years. Pope John Paul II gave St. Mary's the special designation Minor Basilica in 1991, making it the only one in Virginia. Spence says it helped encourage black Catholics and show them the church cherishes their involvement. And this massive pipe organ in their midst, full of history and sound, can also be inspiring. You no, know, it's all a part of prayer and praise and thanks to God, you know, so don't, don't come to just look at an instrument. It's much of the intimate connection with people who come and worship here and who have for a century and a half now. So it's not a museum piece, it's, it's something living. Uh, I guess our, our liturgies are prayers of the church throughout history and this organ, it certainly is very much a part of that. Mark Martin, CBN News, Norfolk, Virginia.